well guys today is the day the first trust test I don't know why they do it like they do but today I go up and uh, get on the treadmill which I really don't mind the treadmill because since I've been going to the gym I mean I, I've been on it for you know well, I started five minutes at uh, only one uh, as far as the speed goes, I don't know what that actually equates to, but uh, now I'm up to a half an hour with an elevation of 10 and running it somewhere between uh, 2.5 and 3. <coughs> Excuse me. It's the morning clear your throat. Uh, but anyway, how they do it is you go up there, you get on the treadmill. They run you hard, and I tell them that I've got a bad back, so they don't elevate it past three, or actually two and a half. I'm sorry, elevation. Don't elevate it past nine or ten. Um, you can take the speed up to three, four, but don't up to get me to where you want to put me, but don't elevate it past the nine or ten because my back will give up. And they tell me, well, we gotta do what we gotta do to get you where we need you. I said, well, you can get me where you need me just by the speed with up to a nine or a 10 elevation. You don't have to elevate any higher than that. I'm telling you, I know my body. And other than that, the first 10 minutes is me trying to explain to them because they're so hung up on protocol all right, and trained. They're so narrow-minded and tunnel vision they're, they're just stupid, they're trained robots, uh, and that's what the government is training today anyway. But, you know, we finally get to an agreement to where uh, we're gonna do it my way unless it doesn't work. And, okay, I can understand they have to get me to a certain point. And then after that, uh, I sit in a room for 10 or 15 minutes, and then they bring me into the room where they have to lay me down and take the cameras and take the pictures. Um, you know, and that's that. Then the next day, tomorrow, I have to go up there again so that they can just take the pictures at, on a relaxed mode. <coughs> Excuse me, I apologize for that. You know, now, I ask them, why can't you take the relaxed pictures when I get there and then put me on the treadmill and take the active, you know, with me under stress? Yeah, I, I'm glad. You know, this is, this is, to me, you know, kind of plain and simple here, you know. The other doctor I used to have, the one that I don't trust anymore that I no longer have, the one that kept telling me for four weeks that I had acid reflux when in fact I was having a heart attack. Um, but he used to uh, give me the stress test, relaxed, and then put me on a treadmill and then give me the test again, meaning the uh, laying down, taking of the pictures. And so, um, now when I was having my heart attack, he had never done that, which was a good thing. Um, well, then again, if he had taken it relaxed, he may have seen that I had a 100% a, um, blockage in the main artery. So, and that's another thing. I think if you do the um, relaxed one first, if it shows any abnor, abnor, yes, you know what I'm saying, any problems that um, they would understand, not take the stress test part. You know, where they run on the treadmill. I don't know. I may just be mumbling and rattling on. I don't know. But I think it's a waste. I have to come up here two days. All right. Instead of uh, just one day. So anyway, we're going to go up here and do what we have to do. <coughs> and uh, kind of a gloomy day today. A little bit of a rain. Just enough to keep the wipers on delay. A little bit of a cloudy overcast. I don't think it's supposed to last all day. It doesn't look like it. If I look off to the south, it looks like it's uh, actually clearing up. So, we'll see what happens here. All right, guys. 
we're going to uh, do what we have to do and then uh, take it from there.